hello everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel so this is my uh, youtube channel i'm uploading all my videos uh, in my channel if you like please subscribe and forward to all your friends uh, without wasting any more time let's move on so in, in our previous video we see about uh, how to import an rdbms table into a uh, hadoop uh, a in the text file so this is the text file we have imported so it is in the text file format so in this video we are going to see how do you import the same table into json uh, record structure so uh, scoop supports json that is avro data file format we do have uh, um, other file formats also which i'll be covering in my next videos so today we will see how to um, import the same orders table uh, into Hadoop using Avro data file format. So the command re uh, remains the same. But what we will do is, that's fine. So there are a couple of things we need to do. Orders. Avro is going to be my file name. I'm going to import the same uh, uh, tables. So all these things remains the same. Instead of as text file, I'm going to make it as as Avro data file. So rest all remains the same. So if I click on enter it will prompt for the password cloudera is being the password so MapReduce job will execute let's wait for the job to finish as as usual there are four splits by default in my subsequent uh, video I will cover how to sp uh, split based on our input parameters so depends upon some of the, the some of the parameters in your scoop syntax you can control this number of splits and also you can control the bounding valves query too so this is a by default select min and max so this bound valves query decides uh, whether your data is equally distributed between each of the mapper task so let's wait for the job to finish and we'll see the output how the data looks in Avro file format in HDFS. So it is for some efficient data processing. It will be stored in key value pairs. It is a, um, it actually has some better compression than your text file format and it is in the JSON record structure. So let's wait until this job gets completed. It is completed let's go to our hive i mean i'm sorry hue hands-on and you could see orders avro as usual four output files are created if you see here is a difference come on Claudera. there are times your VM becomes pretty slow and this is one of an occasion. Okay, what can we do is let's go to open another terminal and we can using the command terminal itself sdfs uh, dfs minus ls user hands on so you can see there are two yep there are two files so let's I want to just go step by step in this so that you get understand pretty clearly. Oh, why suddenly hue is pretty slower? Mm -hmm. Need to check. Maybe in the next video I will check that. <laughs> so we do have four output files. 
zu sehen. Jetzt die FS. Die FS. Meine Skat. Sehen Bart. I'm printing the output data so it will be printed in, um, in JSON file format so this is how the data is internally stored it is in key value pairs uh, I'm sorry that it is not displaying it correctly but if you see I want to show the text file format how it displays orders I think it will display everything. So all the data in um, order stable. Okay, it's not directly. Minus ls. session of you we go to file browser we go to hands on my profile output and I want to click on one of that forget it let's display it over here guys so this is a text file and this is how so you've seen how the text file is displayed and uh, previously have seen our the agenda of this exercise how the so this is the text file guys so the same data is being stored in json where we have seen it so i will try to correct this uh, hue why it is not showing the data file in my next video and uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, if you like please subscribe and share to your friends thank you so much